Hello, my name is Takara, and today we're going to be looking at my stationery collection. So, my stationery collection consists of a lot of stickers and pens. So, we'll look at those in a minute, but for right now, we're going to do like an overview of just everything, and then after this, we're going to go individually and look at everything because everything has like a little story or I can tell you where I got it from if it's something that was current and then we can go from there. So let's watch that little quick video and then get to it.
Okay, so we're going to start from whatever's on top and then we'll head back here in a minute. So first we're going to start with this little sticker sheet that I got on a website called, um, was it? Oh jeez, I don't even remember. But it was just like this little sticker sheet. So what you would do is that you could like literally online trade with people. And you could use the points that you earned to buy things on there. But I forget what it was called. Oh, but yeah, these are like little Korean stickers of like a little, um, a little bear. Little penguins and little leaves and stuff. But it is just escaping me what it was called. So, oh well. Okay, up next, we have a Meowgical page markers from Crown Jewels which is really cute, from Ashland, Ohio. I got this at the Dollar Tree. And I just thought these really, 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 really cute. I'm not the biggest cat person in the world, but these are really cute. And I wanted to um, add them to my collection, even though they're not stickers. Oh well. So Up next is this little journal that I got at the Dollar Store. And it does light up. You can see it. But like when it's dark, obviously it's a lot nicer. So I just got it. I thought it was really cute. I have some stickers in here. I thought it was cute. I don't generally use journals. That's why I try not to buy them unless they're small because I just don't like to use them in my stationery, ironically. So up next is these little stickers right here. Because I like these little stickers too. This came out of like a little Disney pack because I thought Bambi was cute. And I got this little aerial one as well. They're from a doctor's office, I think. Uh, I thought the drawing of Ariel was really cute. And then up next is a sticker zine that I bought in a giveaway on Instagram a couple months ago. So what you do is you get the book and you buy the stickers separately and you stick them on so that you have an entire book with their outfits and stuff on. Which is really cool. I love the cover because it's glittery. So... I count that as um, stationary. Okay, then up next, oh, let's focus a little. Up next is this Bonjour Cochon. Cochon. Something like this little pig. It comes with all these little stickers. My friend gave it to me a couple years ago. So I think this is also. Uh, I think this is also Korean as well. Looks like it, so that's cool. So, then up next. A family dollar um, store had a bunch of random dollar stickers, so I got the um, the Disney one because I like the Ariel. So I think Ariel, Jasmine, Pocahontas, Kita, Tiana. Um, who else? Oh, I'd have to go into like a list, but I think my least favorite is Merida. So sorry to anybody who likes Merida. I just don't think she's all that great. So but we'll head back here a little. So these are not erasures like I thought they were. But these are very big, thick stickers. So we're going to look at a little insert right now of a video of the whole collection that I got. And then we'll get back to these. Yeah, now we're back and everything. So yeah, big foam stickers. I thought they were erasers, but oh well. They got the little doggy and the kitty on the gumball machine. You got these cute little dolphins. I got this leopard. And these are Lisa Frank, by the way. Just in case. You don't, you don't know. But I think her, her stuff is pretty, I, pretty iconic. So I don't need to tell nobody. But these are really cool. Once again, I'll probably never use them because I would feel bad, I guess. And it came with like this little itty bitty one. The bag is from Family Dollar. It has glitter on, not like the inside of the pouch, but in between the pouches so that you don't get glitter everywhere. But these are all my um, pens and stuff from the, the big box that I got of stationery stuff. So it has like the little Lisa Frank things on them, which is cute. 
Oh, that was cute. So, put that over here. Okay, now we're getting to the thick of it. These are my Lisa Frank. They're like 600 count stickers, sheets. And I accidentally got two, but that's okay. So we'll look through this one. I think we've already looked through this through the little video, but you can get these at any family dollar store. So they're not hard to come by. It's just, if you're not paying attention, you'll end up buying the same one twice, but I'm not complaining. So there's that one. Those were 600, this is over 400. And then, oh, oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> did I buy three? Did I buy three? <laughs> oh no, I didn't realize I had three of them. <laughs> Um, has different languages on it. Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> I said two, but there's three. Oh, oh alright. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay. I got this one on a family dollar too. It's just like Disney princesses. This is really pretty. Oh, I can't get over that. Why didn't I ever notice? Oh well. It happens. And these are like the little um, cutouts. It came with a Lisa Frank thing. It's this little paper that they put over it, but it's like. What's wrong? It's just a little stencils that they have. So. Put that there. They have little face stickers. Um, they're like little temporary tattoos you put on your face, but I wouldn't put them on my face because I'd probably get a breakout. <laughs> Now these are little, um, they're Sticko everyday stickers. And these are from Walmart. They're like 80 cents, maybe a dollar. So I thought these were cute. Little narwhals, so cute. And then this is a recent one that I got. I got this off of eBay. And it's from a Daiso in Japan. And I thought, bless my small stupid brain, that I was getting 40 of them. Because I bid on them, thinking I was going to get 40. Because it said 40 sets, or 40 pieces. But I think the person meant, like, the stickers. There's 40 stickers. Because there's no way that there's 40 in there. So, I mean, it was only $1.50, so it evens out to how much it would be at a Daiso in American. From uh, Japanese currency. So I guess it doesn't matter, but... I was looking forward to having 40 so I can give some out to friends and stuff, but, oh well, my dumbass. Well, obviously I, I bought more than one of the same sticker books, so it's honestly starting to become my fault. But I got this at Family Dollar a year ago, I think. It's from Art Skills. It looks like Lisa Frank, so I thought it was kind of cool. And then these are the big stickers that came with that big thing that I got. So, just pretty cool. So, I like them. Oh, I love it when they're sparkly like that. It's just really, really nice. Really just puts you in a good mood. Well, for me anyway. I don't know about anybody else. It puts me in a good mood. I had to flatten these out because they were rolled up. But these are just so cute. Little frogs and stuff. Oops, sorry, I burped. <laughs> little frogs and stuff is really cute. Oh, this is my favorite sheet out of all of them. It's so sparkly. <laughs> uh, wish my skin could look like that. That I would be pretty happy with that. Here are some jumbo ones. So I heard unicorns definitely do. These elephants are cute. Little Pegasus. Oh, the little owl is really cute too. <laughs> so, put these away. I'll put these away. Then we're going to look at pens real quick, but we're going to just do a little quick overview of them. And then we will sit and look at in each individual one so that you 
maybe want to get some yourself because most of these, most of the pens that I got are from eBay. And if you're interested in buying some of them, I can link you to the seller that I got them from. I mean, if you're like, oh, I need that in my life ASAP, then I definitely don't mind. So, let me put this all back the way I had it, and then we'll get into that. Okay, now this is back and organized again. We're gonna look at my pens. Like this whole drawer is just busy. So we'll eventually go through it all at one point. I don't know if anybody cares, but it's okay. So with my pens, let me back up a little. I get a good bit of them on eBay, and then I get lucky. I find like really cool ones like these uh, at the dollar store. So this one, this one, this one, this one, this one is really cool. Um, I think that's it. Those ones are from eBay. And you can tell they kind of have a recurring theme of having like little charms on them and stuff, which I do love. This one and this one right back here was a mermaid tail. It's from Family Dollar. These two Sailor Moon ones are from Dollar General. Had to have those because it looks exactly like Sailor Moon, so <sighs> Lord help me with that one. And then these ones, these springy ones, there's these stars. It's like oop, over here. Stars, there's a blue, purple, and pink one. And then I have a unicorn back here. You can see, and then this feather one are from the Dollar Tree. Oh, and this is from um, Dollar General as well. And this is from Family Dollar. So you can find all this cute stuff usually for less than a dollar. And even this little pail is from Walmart. I got it for like oh, less than a dollar. Definitely less than a dollar. So there's really, you know, no reason why you can't get these things, you know? But, oh, it's pretty easy. It's like that. Sorry, that's not true. Well, you know, you can find cute stuff anywhere. If you just look, you know, don't be shy about looking. So, and I did, I have this weird thing about, you know, things about being perfect. So I did repaint the horn on this one. Because the paint wasn't that great. I mean, it's in the dollar store, so. I don't know what I was expecting, but. Look at all these. Well, I can spin it. So. I really love all these and I try to get different colors. Like, there's a funny story with this one. Have it focus. I bought a pink one and I didn't realize the horn was broken off. And I was just like, well, I can't freaking have this. So I'm such a perfectionist. So oh there's one hiding back here. Yeah, a little gem one. Uh family dollar. So I try to get different colors and stuff. And like things like that so it's not just like a bunch of pink or a bunch of blue or a bunch of purple like there's just a you know a good selection of stuff and yes I, I did DIY that if you're interested I can do a video about it if not it's okay and yes I did DIY that too if you're interested about it comment below about it if you're not that's okay nobody talks to me on here besides me <laughs> so this looks like it's makeup right but it's actually, it's actually a pen. Look at that. It's a pen. And there was a pink, 
like a teal blue and then a purple one. And for sure, let me get this back on. For sure, I'm going to get the other colors at some point, but it's QAO and then I think this is Korean. So but I think it looks really cute sitting there with all my other stuff. So honestly, this is about it. This is my entire stationery collection from what I remember it being. Oops, that's going to fall. Push that back. But yeah. Nothing fills my life with joy more than cute stickers and cute stationery. So that's not your thing. I don't know why you're here. So anyway, please like, comment, and share, and please subscribe. I do a lot of things, apparently. So it's not just about dolls and stuff like that. There's a lot more going on, and I hope to get inspired to either do more collection videos or more DIYs because that looks pretty me. I mean, that looks cool. That one does too. So, anyway, like I said, please like and subscribe. Comment below. Like, what do you want to see next? If you want to see anything. And yeah, this is my collection video, so thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!